Now, before you run off to take ice baths, let me tell you what the science doesn't support. Weight loss. Sorry, no evidence that cold showers melt fat in humans. The brown adipose tissue activation seen in winter swimmers doesn't translate to weight loss in regular folks. Depression cure. While one researcher proposed cold showers for depression in 2008, we have zero randomized controlled trials proving it works for clinical depression. Muscle building. Actually the opposite. Regular cold water immersion after training reduces muscle growth and strength gains. Mood enhancement. The only RCT found no difference in mood scores between cold immersion and control groups. Here's the weirdest finding. The massive 2025 meta-analysis by Kane and colleagues analyzed 11 RCTs with 3,177 participants. They found that immediately after cold water immersion, inflammation markers actually increased, SMD, 1.03. One hour later, still elevated, SMD 1.26. But 12 hours later, stress levels dropped significantly, SMD minus 1.00. It's like your body needs to freak out first before it can level up. So how does brief, intense stress make you more resilient? Think of it like a fire drill. When you expose yourself to controlled stress, whether it's cold water, skydiving, or any acute challenge, you're training your stress response system. Your body releases a cascade of stress hormones and immune factors. Norepinephrine floods your system. Natural killer cells mobilize. Heat shock proteins activate. Anti-inflammatory pathways engage. But here's the critical part. It has to be brief and intense. Chronic cold exposure doesn't work. Lukewarm doesn't work. The sweet spot. Temperature, 10 to 15 degrees Celsius. Duration, 30 seconds to 5 minutes. Frequency, daily or every other day.